Okay, so this is the synthesizer and sequencer that I've been working on lately. Um, it's based on the, uh, the synthesizer is based on the MeBlip, which is an open source uh, synthesizer project. Um, you can buy pre-built MeBlips, but they also have a MeBlip Micro that allows you to build your own synthesizers. I didn't use either. But since it's open source, they publish the uh, schematics and source code for everything. So I went and designed my own circuit board here. Uh, this is the Atmega32 that's running the MeBlip firmware. If we can get in here and focus a little bit more. Uh, right here is the DAC. Um, it is in... Oh shoot, what is it? Let's see if I have it. It is an AD7302 um, parallel uh, dual channel DAC from Analog. Um, it uses both channels on it to produce a 16-bit output. Um, it is an 8-bit synth though, I believe, so anyway. Um, and then the 8-pin uh, dip chip there is a op-amp. I guess it's for amplification and for anti-aliasing or something like that. Um, and then you can see, actually, let's see, maybe I can focus back there. There we go. The diodes all go out to the switch matrix. 16 switches right up here. Um, these are all the same um, layout as on the MeBlip SE. So you have your oscillator A wave, oscillator B wave, uh, PWM sweep, um, oscillator B enable, oscillator A noise, um, oscillator B octave shift, um, filter envelope sustain, I believe. Um, don't remember what this one does. And then you have, uh, let's see. LFO enable, LFO destination, LFO random, and LFO wave. Um, and then this guy is distortion. This is your bank shift for your uh, presets. Actually, no, this is a high and low pass filter. Um, let's see. This is your knob shift. These four knobs right here have um, two different functions for them. Um, I think that's all the switches. Um, we have eight knobs right up here for the synthesizer section. So you have, let's see, where do I have it? I have a chart here that shows everything on it. So the first one changes the PWM duty cycle. This is your glide slash portamento and your amplifier attack. This is your filter envelope amount and your amplifier decay. This is your LFO depth, and this is your LFO rate. This one is also your filter attack and filter decay. This is your oscillator detune. Uh, this is your filter cutoff and filter resonance. Um, this knob right here is volume, and this knob right here is for the sequencer section, which, come down here, is running on in at Mega 328. <coughs> This is actually running the uh, simple simple in czar, I believe it is, uh, firmware, which is also open source, I believe. You can get it on the internet. Um, so I combine these two into one board. Got a little power supply here, um, and then the LEDs. These two buttons are for the sequencer. This one is select, and this one is enter. Um, I believe. About everything. There's it was quite an ordeal wiring all this together. You've got 16. Actually, no, you've got 20 wires just for the switches alone. So you have four banks of four. So you have 16, and then you have a common for each. Um, all the potentiometers. They're all. There's only really 10 total for those. Actually, no. There's uh, there's 10 potentiometers, and then you've got power and ground for each one. 
so there's 12 total. All the powering rounds are tied together, and then the yellow is the uh, center tap. Uh, you've got the switches for the sequencer right here. There's three connections there for each switch and then a common. Then you've got the LEDs under here. Uh, there's eight down here, and then the three are up back here by that blue wire. Um, they are epoxied into place so they don't come out. Um, that's pretty much everything. This front panel here is uh, 0.04, I believe, inch thick um, aluminum. It's it's not anodized, but it's like painted, but it's painted really nicely. Um, I ordered that from McMaster Car. It came in a 12 by 12 sheet, so. Um, that's pretty much it for the explanation of what everything does on here. Um, if we can get back into focus. I'm not going to focus. But um, I'm going to go hook it up to some speakers now and give you a little demo of what it does. Okay, um, I have it hooked up. It's running off of USB power right now because my battery died and it was making the whole thing freak out. Um, I have it just going to my speakers for now, um, so you can hear it in the video, but as I'm doing this I'm going to be recording it in Audacity and then I'll post it on SoundCloud so you can hear it better. Um, so. When you power it on, it loads the first uh, patch that you have saved. So, so, and then the sequencer starts up with just a single note. You can see it's running through each one. It's set to eight steps right now. Uh, you can change it by pressing both the buttons at the same time and hit select and then enter. You can see we have these three right here for changing mode. Um, so the first LED right here is just eight steps, that's it. Second one is 16 steps. And then the third one is eight steps, but then you also have eight. The, the code calls them shiftings. Um, what it does is it allows you to program eight notes in and then you can go and it sequences that eight, those eight notes eight times so you can change the pitch of each uh, section pretty much. So we just want, oops, we're just going to go with eight for now. Hit enter and select. This first LED right here allows us to change our tempo, which we use with our knob here. So you can see our tempo here, and it's slowed down. You can go really fast. Put it somewhere kind of there. And then you hit both buttons again to exit the menu. Um, right now, you can see we have an LED here. This is our first note. We could hit enter right now and change parameters of it, or you could hit select and move to our next notes, like that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn all the notes on real quick. So you do that, so you select your note and you hit enter. And then it brings up a menu here where you can select different things. So this first one is note on or off. This is note uh, pitch. And then this is note velocity, which doesn't really seem to... I, I, I can't really notice any differences with it. Um, uh, I should probably start recording in Audacity right now. Um, so we want to enable this note, so we select the first one, hit enter, and it starts blinking. And this knob, if it's below half, it turns it off, if it's above halfway, it turns it on. So we can see we've got two notes now, so I'm going to go ahead and turn them all on real quick. So you can see we've 
You can see we've got them all turned on right now. And now we can go ahead and change some of them. So I'm going to change the first one here. Mm. This is our glide right now, so we can change it. This is all the way up. I'm going to turn it all the way down for now. Let's change our fourth note, too. something going there. Now we can go ahead and change some of our parameters. So right now, so right now I have oscillator A set to a square wave, which you can change the duty cycle with, with this knob right here. Um, I don't have the sweep turned on, I don't have noise turned on. Uh, the envelope sustain is off. The LFO is on right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Um, let's see. Oscillator B is off, so these three don't do anything right now. Uh, anti aliasing is still turned on, which I'll just leave on. LFO is not on again. Uh, this one that turns on FM, so I don't really know what that does. It doesn't change the sound much and we're set to the lower half on these knobs right now, so... You can see we can change the duty cycle. And we can turn on oscillator B as well. We're on sawtooth for A, so B is off. Turn our PWM sweep on. Um, we can change our filters parameters. So this is cut off. Turn our LFO on. Uh, that sounds terrible. This is our rate. That sounds pretty bad. Kind of like the sound of that. So our, so our uh, LFO is set to use our filter right now. Change it to our oscillator. That just never really sounded very good. Um, our wave is set to a triangle for the LFO. We can change it to a 
uh, square wave. Or we can turn on random. Which I guess could have some use. Distortion. That just seems to really quiet it almost. This is our high and low pass filter. So we can change some of our other stuff now with our amplifier attack. And our decay here. And our filter attack. Um, let's see. We pretty much mess with all the knobs on here. Um, let's see what else can I do? Uh, we turn our um, amplifier envelope sustain on. That just kind of makes it all go together. Um, anti aliasing doesn't have much effect. Uh, I turn our oscillator B back on. See, when you have the uh, oscillator A wave set to sawtooth, it doesn't change the uh, pulse width with the pulse width knob. So you can see we've got kind of an acid song going here. Set to 16 steps, but only the first eight are programmed in right now. Um, I'll show you this mode real quick. This is the uh, eight steps with the shiftings. So you can see we've got our sequencer going along. This works the same way as the, uh, the other um, sections. Um, pretty much. See, we're changing. We're changing this first sequence of notes, the pitch of it. synthesizer with built-in sequencer does.